Hi, today I'm talking about my recording and editing uh, setup. Let's talk with uh, start with recording the cameras that I use. Uh, after I'm using uh, a Canon Ixus 97015 digital compact camera uh, for everyday use. Uh, it's a compact camera, it's very old. Uh, my mother bought it actually first and uh, she took quite a couple of photos uh, and some videos with it and when I recall they weren't exactly nice compared to what I can do. Uh, of course I uh, discovered uh, throughout the time I discovered many features of the camera that my mother never even knew of uh, what they were and uh, of course uh, it can also take video uh, at a surprisingly good uh, resolution. Uh, I do not know the exact resolution but I can uh, imagine it being full HD uh, or at least HD 720p from uh, back when it was full. Uh, and it worked well even today. Uh, I have no dead pixel problem though the uh, microphone on this is a little bit, uh, a little bit too small and uh, too far away to actually be able to talk softly through it and still be understandable. Uh, so that is why I use a microphone, an external microphone, to do voiceover uh, sometimes. So that is that. Uh, now, my other camera I use, uh, I obviously I can't uh, always take this camera with me, so I also use my iPad to take videos uh, and photos at school. Uh, for example, I need to take my iPad, but of course it would be too hard to take an actual video uh, camera with you. Uh, uh, yeah, there I use my iPad and I use it along with this uh, microphone of course. Uh, in case you do not know, you didn't recognise. It's from the brand Ewent. Uh, actually the same brand that I have bought a charger cable from uh, at Paradigit here in Utrecht. So this is the uh, lightning end of that charging cable and of course it accumulates into USB on the end. It's actually from the same brand that I bought the microphone from. Now I also use that microphone for other purposes like uh, recording on the computer with FreeCam 8 uh, or recording on a um, uh, tablet uh, for let's play videos. Uh, for audio recording I, as of right now, also use my iPad uh, with a special app uh, called Dictaphone Plus uh, that allows me to make uh, recordings of audio only uh, for things like Let's Play videos and other things that require voice over audio uh, to occur. Of course, live voice over audio. And this app I've used quite a couple of times and it works fine for me. Uh, yeah. In case I need to record the screen of my iPad, I need to built in screen recorder functionality. However, on Android, I use an app called uh, Mobizen for Samsung because uh, my Android tablet is actually uh, an old Samsung Android tablet. <laughs> This will be just 10 years old as a friend. It was 10 years ago that, uh, or actually, I was 10 years old about when I got this thing. So, as an 18, six years of heavy, uh, intense use. It does, I did put in a universal case though. Uh, so, right here, <laughs> uh, I'm using a smart launcher as a friend. I have a launcher for the device. And um, as of now, 
for the Rakuna Gaze Moby Zen. Uh, there's actually a special version of Moby Zen specifically for Samsung tabs. This is a, an old Samsung Galaxy Tab E, a uh, very old model, but I believe they no longer make this. Uh, I do not recommend picking up one because uh, it has uh, Android 4 point something on it, but for me it still works. Just fine, even with the latest and greatest applications, which of course, as you might have seen, includes games like Brawl Stars. Okay, so let's now talk editing. So, uh, for editing, I use the program uh, VSDC as right now. I use these open shot for a long time, but one of the lacking features is the ability to do transparency, which has been uh, retrieved by uh, VSDC. Because uh, if I want to do that as of right now, uh, I can do so. Uh, so, of course, I'm simply throwing stuff uh, together uh, so that it fits together very well uh, so yeah that is that so let's do the other components of this video uh, mm -hmm. image image where's the image uh, okay so let's have a look I ah uh, MOV I like, am I all I'm gonna be opening up all this video as of right now, so let's look at that one. Innocent uh I'm G twenty two twenty two, uh yada yada yada. It actually has a wizard to add transition to between files which I'm not gonna use but I can use uh, and I can also use to put things in the right order. So I can swap things around like this. Uh, just like that, let's see preview. I can actually turn these around before they even got the opportunity to get uh, omitted so that it all looks pretty well. So let's apply our settings and this simplicity is what really drove me into uh, it was one of the things at least that drove me into uh, using VSC uh, because it's so simple. Uh, I almost, I could almost, I mean, I could almost literally, I could almost do it asleep. It is so simple. It has such a uh, large feature for cat sample as of right now I'm fitting the video into the uh, area uh, something that is pretty much impossible uh, to do in uh, open shot uh, I need to also know why because it takes a long time to export the video so I'm going to stop right now about the editing software. Okay, so let's now talk about our computer setup. Now the computer I use is actually a Packard Bell uh, iMedia S computer. It's a refurbished model, refurbished by our local PC shop. And uh, it still works just fine, even though people think you need a specifically powerful uh, machine in order to be able to edit video and play games. Uh, my computer does it just fine, uh, so that you can still never be perfect, especially for such a uh, setup as an Intel Core i5 running at 3 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a 240 gigabyte SSD. Though that SSD really works well with uh, making the computer a little bit faster, uh, because, <laughs> as you might guess, a uh, an SSD has no moving parts, so it's way quicker at startup and shutdown, among other things. I also uh, use something really interesting: is that I the computer has a battery. Uh, back there was actually a time uh, through to the 2010s that I only I and my mother had to share a single computer, 
and I had to take turns with Mummy uh, to use the computer. And that was a problem, but the real problem was that that computer ran Windows 7 uh, in 2014, 2015, that was great. But in 2020, on January 21st, it broke support. Microsoft literally no longer supports Windows 7 at all. Except for business use where you could have extended security updates, but that uh, only lasts a couple of years for price increases, and the uh, computer eventually uh, wouldn't be able to run that uh, Windows 10 updates, uh, Windows 7 only. But Windows 10, we tried to install it on our computer, it did not work. It did not work because uh, when we were installing it, it actually rolled back, and that was a problem because other things also did not work on that computer. For example, what didn't work was certain websites, what didn't work was Sims 3, of which I'm going to make a video on there as of right now, in fact. Uh, yeah, it didn't work, and we had to replace it. I went to a local PC shop, and they had a uh, PC on show that really uh, was a refurbished model of what we had, except it didn't have the Wi-Fi card that our PC had. And that Wi-Fi card, I could then upgrade I can actually move the old Wi-Fi card into a new computer. And uh, for Mami, she then went ahead and bought a new laptop for uh, program at her uh, work called Bring Your Own Device, where you would have uh, multiple laptops. Everyone has their own laptop, which is pretty great for corona uh, management, among other things. Uh, she actually had uh, a bit of money from the municipality to buy a new laptop or a tablet, but she preferred a laptop. Exact. she bought a uh, Lenovo IdeaPad. I do not know the exact uh, model number, but I do know it's the version without the touchscreen type trackpad. About that wireless card, I did not manage to get it to work initially, because I had to download drives and updates, and eventually I can finally have an internet connection. Uh, the monitor I use, by the way, is a uh, Dell UltraSharp monitor. I really like it. If, uh, picture quality might not come across well on camera, but in person it looks really nice. Another thing I really like is the ability, uh, it has USB ports and you can hook up multiple USB devices. Two on the side and two on the back. Uh, as well on the back there's a power port to hook up a speaker. Uh, as well as locks to put the speaker in place right below the monitor. That uh, if I could get that speaker, it would save quite a lot of clutter. So now for the keyboard and mouse, uh, for which my aunt actually gave me the uh, USB keyboard and mouse she had from her new computer. Uh, however, these are problems, at least in my eyes, they are problems because uh, the motion uh, freedom is a bit limited, freedom of movement. So I really do wish that I one day I want to replace the uh, these devices with Bluetooth 2.4 gig hybrid uh, mouse and a uh, Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, the mouse is uh, hybrid so that I can use it on my computer with 2.4 gigahertz so that I have a li very little lag if any and when I want to go I could use it with my iPad uh, because I'm quite a mouse uh, user. I use my mouse for pretty much everything on my computer. I want to be able to do something similar on my iPad. <laughs>
uh, the three fee cash extend. So let me show that with one of them. And it works like that. So it goes in and out like that. And it can do that in three stages. Uh, every one of these. And on top of that, there's an additional stage where I can uh, unscrew. No, it's not that screw. That screw is for the uh, rotation. But it's that one right there. If you can see uh, that, I can open up simply and slide out and in the uh, actual mount for the camera. Okay, so that is all of the hardware that I use, as well as a little sneak peek inside the SDC uh, editing. Uh, that's it for today.